Hello, my name is Dr. Virginia Von Schaefer. I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about the value of a PET CT scan in the course of diagnosing and treating uh, cancer patients. We know that cancer has a certain level of metabolic activity and not all cancers uh, metabolize at the same rate. Some Tumors are called, quote unquote, lazy or latent. They're slow growing. Other tumors are rapidly growing and metabolizing quickly. Now, the PET-CT scan, although it is not used often enough, in my humble opinion, is very, very valuable in showing us what is the metabolic level of activity in a given tumor and whether or not if there are metastases, other sites of increased metabolic activity that may represent spread of the tumor from the primary site. This is a very, very important piece of information. Why? Sometimes people are required to have chemotherapy and they've never had a PET scan. So we don't know, do they have metastases elsewhere, distantly or not? And this can become very critical on a patient's course. Many times I see women who have breast cancer and they may or may not have uh, palpable lymph nodes in their you know, underarm. Uh, and if they do have lymph nodes that are palpable uh, and they do have a certain size tumor mass, they're recommended to have chemotherapy almost immediately. Even without assessing whether or not they have any tumor in a distant site, such as liver or bone. These areas are very, very commonly seeded. And don't forget the statistic that before a tumor has reached one centimeter in size, tiny, it's shed billions of circulating tumor cells and stem cells that have been released into the lymphatic system and the bloodstream. These cells are migratory and they have the capability to go here, there, wherever, in different tissues. They also have relative immortality and they can live up to 20 years. So seeding of the entire body and assessing whether or not there are other areas of uh, tumor besides the primary is very, very important for assessing uh, the patient's primary condition and also how to move forward in best treating them. I do not think it's a good idea to subject a person to chemotherapy without this type of information. Even so, time and again, I see patients who have breast cancer and they've had it for many years, they've had recurrences, never once had a PET CT scan. This is not acceptable. A PET scan is a very useful tool because it will grade and assess the metabolic activity of the tumor. The SUV or sugar uptake value in a PET scan that's revealed assesses the ability that a given tumor mass has for taking up a radio-labeled solution of glucose, therefore uh, giving us an idea of how actively metabolizing that lesion is. Now, an ultrasound cannot show that, Ultrasound can show vascularity that goes to a tumor. That's great. MRI, that can show differences in tissue density. That's great too. CT scan, it's much more accurate, accurate than a PET CT scan for assessing exact size and anatomic location of a tumor. However, it does not give us that information of metabolic activity. And this can become an essential piece of information when we're trying to make a treatment plan for a patient that has a complex illness and multiple metastases. So I encourage you to consider the utility of a PET-CT scan and put aside the notion that it has an excessive amount of radiation and that it is kind of scary. You can detox from the radiation from a PET scan, but you can't get the same information that a PET scan yields from a CT scan or an MRI. So in the course of treatment and evaluation, it's a very important piece of information that we have to get. 
just want you to think about it next time you're approached with that subject. Thank you.